Hey family and friends, it's Kendra here with Kendra All For Him, and I've got an incredible devotion for you this week out of Psalm 32, 8 through 9. This is the Passion Translation. It says, I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you, instructing and guiding you along the pathway for your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. Now, this is good news, you guys. Let me net this out. He says, he will instruct you. He will guide you. He will advise you and he will lead you. Whoo, that should take a ton of pressure off. I mean, seriously, listen to that. He will instruct you. He's going to tell you how to do it. He's going to guide you. He's going to give you the wisdom on how to do it. He's going to advise you. He's going to tell you how to do it and he's going to lead you. He's going to show you how to do it. You know, as I build companies as a kingdom entrepreneur, um, often I... And in fact, all the time I go to the Lord and I just say, Lord, tell me what you want. When there's a stirring in my spirit, I know he wants me to build something. And we were building out our real estate company. My daughter had just graduated from uh, the business school at the MSU. This was years ago as we first started this uh, real estate lifestyle, real estate firm, our real estate company. And we were talking about creating this business strategy and this business plan. And I was teaching with her and mentoring her through this process of, hey, let's cast vision. Let's write down what we think this we want this to look like. And it was really neat because as we put down our um, ideas on paper, we were praying about it. We were asking God, what is this supposed to look like? How does it honor you? How do we impact our community? How do we impact people? Anytime we're building something, we're always about God's people. How do we impact people and communities? And so as we were finishing up, we had really penciled everything out. We we had um, figured out a way to create some, generate some revenue for it to cash flow, to get us started for the things we needed to do. And on paper, it would look, you're done. And it was so good because I said to Madison, um, let's just ask Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, is are we finished with this? And I said, what do you feel? And she's like, I, I just feel like there's maybe a little bit more. And I was like, I agree. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait on the Lord because he's going to finish and finalize this. He's ordering our steps. This is his company. We are simply coming as um, stewards of what he is birthing for this city. And so we're going to sit before him and we're going to wait for him to put the stamp on it that this is the final plan for us for that year. You guys, it took a couple of weeks and we'd come back together and we would just say, we would pray over it. We'd say, Lord, is there more? And it wasn't until about three weeks after that, that we really were just petitioning and giving it to God to say, you know, what else do you have? Guide us, lead us, teach us, mentor us. What do you have, Lord? That he finally gave us that final nugget that, whoop, that plugged into play that let us both go, it is finished. <laughs> it was this beautiful encounter and she experienced it. She felt it in the spiritual realm. Oh, that's what we were waiting for. I love this because sometimes what we do, you guys, we get ahead of what God is doing. We want to run this race, and but yet we do it in our flesh. We get ahead of what God has for us. And if we can just lean back and listen to the voice of God and listen to what he has to say, it says he says he'll stay close to us. We don't have to worry about that we're not going to hear him or he won't move. He says, I'm going to stay close to you. He says, I'm going to instruct you. I'm going to give you guidance and tell you what to do. He's like, I will be your advisor. Like, I'm a financial advisor. People love to come to me to get financial advice. That's my job. God says that he is our advisor. It means we can go to him and get advice in the arena that we need help. The cool thing about God is he's omnipotent and knows all things. So it doesn't matter what you need. He has the answer. <laughs> and then it says that I will lead you forth. It means that I will guide you. I will lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. When our eyes are fixated on him, we're seeking his eyes and he begins to speak and we respond and listen. It aligns up with heaven. Then the hand of favor comes upon it. And it's just amazing how things will be fulfilled and come into um like completion because and with this peace on it because the Lord's hand is on it as we rest in him. I love this. He is always, 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 always close to you. He has every answer to every question you have. And I charge you this week to bring those questions to him and get yourself in a posture to hear from him. And also just ask him, God, is there anywhere in my life that I'm out of order, that I may be running ahead of you where I need to slow down and ask you some questions and invite you into this journey that you would be my guide, that you would be my advisor, that you would give me the advice, that you would lead me, instruct me and guide me. I guarantee if you allow the Lord to take the place of your instructor and your guide and your advisor, that you will feel way more at peace. 
you will see things come to fruition quicker and easier because it will be of the Lord instead of of the world. And so I want to bless you just from testimony of building companies and ministries and um, creating all these things that the Lord has ever asked me to do. It has been with me co-laboring with him and allowing him to guide me and me simply co-laboring with him in re uh, the response of a yes and amen. So God, I thank you that this week as you stretch us and you, I pray for strategies to be downloaded, inventions to be released, uh, businesses to be, to be built, songs to be written. God, any capacity that as we listen and you'll get our yes and amen, Lord, I thank you that the kingdom will be advanced because of our yes and amen and our co-laboring and partnering with you. Amen. All right. Have an incredible week, you guys.